quit my job at Tesla. I'm doing YouTube full time and on the side, two days a week, I'm working for a company that sells car parts online. I wanna to talk to you guys about that today. I wanna to tell you guys that story of how that happened, why that happened, and God, there's so much that has happened in my life that I have not told you guys about, and it's because I haven't been doing like vlog style videos like this. I haven't done them in a very long time, and I'm excited to be back to the vlog format because I can actually like talk to you guys and tell you guys what's going on in my life. We're heading to the garage right now. It's already kind of late. It's 5 p.m. I'm starting the video kind of late just because I've been at work all day. Anyway, Kearney's meeting us at the garage. I need to grab a bite to eat. We're gonna go ahead and mess around with the EG a little bit tonight. I don't want to talk about it too much. Let's, let's go. I gotta get food and we gotta get to the garage. All right, guys, listen. I was on the phone with Kern Dog. I couldn't, I couldn't bring you guys to McDonald's drive-thru with me. I'm sorry. I know you guys probably wanted to hear my order at McDonald's drive-thru for dinner, but dude, super simple. Honestly, I'm not a plain Jane type of guy when it comes to food, but at McDonald's, I am. Friggin' number one meal, baby. Number one meal, medium, Coke, sit, done. Big Mac, medium fries. Why is there a pickle on top? Big Mac, medium fries, medium Coke, done. That's it, that's all I need, that's all I need. So I'm gonna smack this down and then we're gonna go over some stuff that I got for the EG. Kern Dog will be here soon. Uh, she's meeting us here. Oh, we're getting cold. I'll see you guys in a sec. All right, I got the lights all set up on the EG. I'm done eating, it's time to get down to business. Now, again, like I said today, Kearney's coming here. My main objective is really just to clean up the garage, get this place nicely clean so that's the main objective for us today that's what we're doing here at the garage but you guys want to find out why i quit my job how it happened what's going down with that and in the meantime i'm gonna be also that's pretty sick let me show you guys what i brought from uh from from work this is my little honda parts haul manual trans fluid i have one more quart over there on the shelf behind the green screen new breather filters we'll see hopefully one of them works new cam gears new rear upper camber arms dude wait till you guys see that's gonna be another video probably but wait till you guys see what I'm replacing like what what the ones that I currently have look like they're so terrifying and hardware for the cam gears and for the control arms or camber arms so as I said we're gonna be doing one of these mods on the EG today just in this in this vlog in this video and that is going to be the cam gears slash cam gear refresh kind of just a little side mission for today's video we're gonna get these cam gears installed not because we need to to get the car to Florida to drag race it in a month and run the 11 second pass on the bone stock Integra GSR engine, but because they look cool and I have just the right amount of time to do this job. You know what? While I do the cam gears, it's a great time to tell you guys about Tesla actually. No point in making you wait. Um, so I quit Tesla in on September 23rd of 2022. Tesla was mostly very good. Almost a 100% positive experience. Obviously with any job, there comes like stress of the job, right? In an ideal world, there is no stress at your job and you love what you do and you do it every day and you never work a day in your life. Tesla was not that for me. I'm sure there are people out there who work for Tesla and go in every day and have a huge smile on their face. You know, I love working on cars, but I don't necessarily like fixing cars every single day, day in, day out with dumb issues that are challenging to figure out. It's not that I don't like the challenge. Like I love challenge, obviously I love working hard and, and figuring things out and problem solving. But I don't know, dude, when every single second that I was at Tesla, I was wishing that I was at home doing this. That obviously seems like a no brainer. Like everyone wants to not have to go to their job and wake up every day and make videos on building their own cars. But not everyone is as close to making it possible as me. And I am very close. I'm doing it. I am doing it right now. I am 100% full-time YouTube, aside from working with Mark, which again, I'm gonna tell you about in a second, but I'm very close to making this work where I can do this full-time and completely make sense out of it financially. I don't necessarily wanna to talk too much finances with you guys because honestly, like it's not about the money, right? It's about like enjoying what you do. And that's honestly, ultimately what this all came down to. That's ultimately why I ended up leaving Tesla and, and ended up doing this full time. Shout out to my former boss at Tesla, uh, Josh Schneider, you're a beast. 
Absolutely love you, dude. You did so much for me. You honestly changed my life in such a positive way, and I appreciate you a lot. All the guys that I met at Tesla, shout out to you guys. You're all freaking awesome, seriously. I'm not gonna give any special shout outs because I don't wanna make anyone jealous, but uh, you know who you are. The people there that were, that were just awesome to me. Um, but anyway, um, shout out to you guys. Shout out to the guys at Mercedes that I worked at. Why do I have so many more washers than bolts? That's terrifying. Uh, turns out I can't count. Shout out to the guys at Mercedes that I was with. I'll, I'll give you guys watching like a quick rundown of, of how, like what my life has been for the last year and a half. Cause I really haven't talked about it. I just go to work and then I come home and I work on YouTube and, and I work on YouTube on my lunch breaks, right? Like that's all I've been doing for the last year and a half. This is the cam gear before. Actually, let me show you an untouched one so you guys can see what these look like before and after. Here's one before, it's gonna look nice when I'm done. So about a year and a half ago, I met a guy named Josh. Josh hired me at Mercedes, and I worked at Mercedes for about nine months, 10 months. Josh left Mercedes in July of 2021, and he invited me to come check out Tesla. That's where he went to, he went to Tesla. So Josh is a mentor to me, great guy. And I went ahead and went over to Tesla, checked it out. I like Josh. He said the people over there were good, took his word for it, and I moved over. And obviously it was hard for me. I really, really enjoyed the people at Mercedes. All very good people, um, at least my peers. Ooh, this is already looking so much better. See on my face? I'm trying to have a focus on the cam gear. So anyway, I go over to Tesla and trained there, got into it super quick, was doing very well, just like progress wise. Like you get paid hourly at Tesla. So I was just like doing very well in my training. I was learning the electronics of the vehicles fairly quickly. And I, I did well, I learned quick and I progressed quickly at Tesla. Um, their, their system of like promoting people is uh, it's levels. So like when you get hired as a technician there, I was a technician at Mercedes and Tesla. When you get hired as a technician there, you start out as an S1 at Tesla. Actually, technically you're S0, you don't even have a rank. And then you have to basically meet with your manager and answer test questions essentially, just verbally, like talk through scenarios to prove your, like to prove that you know the information and understand it. I moved up to S1 very quickly. And before I left, my goal was to get S2 before leaving Tesla. Just went to the Tesla Christmas party actually. Thanks for the invite, it was super fun. And, uh, and it was great. Anyway, Tesla was going very well. It, it was great. I just did not want to be there. It's the only thing. I did not want to be there. Every day that I was at Tesla, it was like a thorn in my side every day going in there. Not because I didn't want to work. Like, I obviously love working. I love working, dude. All I do is work. I was sick for two weeks just now. It was, it was a week and a half. I was sick. And all I wanted to do was work. First day I felt better. I came here and I cleaned for like an hour and I left and I felt like a beast. This was the first thing I got to do that was like produ like productive. I'm always working. So it's not that I didn't want to work like at Tesla. It's not that I didn't want to put in the work. If I had been working as hard at Tesla as I was, like if I wasn't doing YouTube and I was just putting all my effort into my day job at Tesla, I would have been crushing it. I already was doing very well, but I would have been next level. Anyway, I did not want to be there. Pretty much everyone knew it. <laughs> I. I had a good attitude, don't get me wrong. I never was in there like complaining. Maybe a few times um, I had a day over the summer where my EK had just blown up and then my truck almost caught on fire like the next morning on my birthday, on my way to work. And I was not having it. That was a bad week for me. But other than that, I had a very positive experience at Tesla. It's a very fast moving company. Basically everything there changes extremely quickly. Elon walked in one day and he was like, yo, we're firing 10% of our full-time employees. So like 10% of the management staff was fired from the entire company nationwide that day. It was insane. It was insane, seriously. Like that company was just crazy. That's just a back to the job, right? All right, there's one. Just don't focus on my face, show on the cam gear. There's one. So anyway, let me get to the point. I left Tesla because nobody knows about this except for my family and Kearney, um, but I was offered a position with my friend Mark and it was a great opportunity and it's probably one of the best opportunities I've ever been offered in my entire life. But I knew at the time that him and I had discussed this, like what he was asking of me was a lot in terms of my time commitment and that's totally fair, right? Like if you're hiring someone, like be upfront, tell them what you're expecting of them. Don't hire someone and then, you know, two weeks into the job, be like, hey, I need you to work way more than you are, right? It's like, just tell them right up front, like this 
job's a lot, and it was. It was gonna be a lot working for Mark and that and that opportunity that he had given me, right? So much so that I may not have enough time to do YouTube at all. Like it was just it was gonna be a lot. And it was something that I was seriously considering, but I hadn't necessarily come to terms with the fact that I would not be able to do YouTube while working for Mark. And so here we are. It's one of the biggest decisions I've ever made. I'm extremely grateful to have someone like Mark in my life. He's just been insanely good to me over the last year or so that, that we've been in contact. Mark is the owner of a business called 1-6 Motorsports, and it's a Honda performance shop that I've been going to since, I don't know, since I was 19, since I had my red eighth gen. And he's he's always been good to me, like since day one, since I went in there as a little shithead 19 year old with my first Honda Civic Si, trying to buy a shift knob and some and some <laughs> shifter cable bushings, and he continues to be good to me. And so even after I chose to go with YouTube full time, we remain friends, and I actually am working for him two days a week, and I'm doing YouTube full time. So couldn't be happier with the situation. It's amazing, very very fortunate for the situation that I'm in, and that's where I'm at. So one of these days, I'll take you guys by the shop. I'll take you guys by. 1-6 and show you guys around inside there. Hopefully, uh, we'll see. I think he'll let me. I just gotta ask, but I think he'll let me. He also periodically watches my videos. If you're watching this, Mark, hi, you owe me a bowl of bean soup from Maria's. This is what it is. And probably a case of LaCroix, uh, peach pear. Thank you. Ooh, so much better. All right, two beautiful cam gears. So that's why I left Tesla and that's what I'm doing now. I am full-time YouTube. And so that's what my life is. I'm gonna go ahead and get these cam gears installed right now, but just a quick word. If you guys would like to support what I do, support the channel, please click subscribe. Please consider checking out YouTube memberships. The join button doesn't pop up on some Apple devices for some reason, so if that is the case for you, please check the pinned comment down below or check the video description. There will be a link to join my YouTube membership. Members get all videos early. Every video goes live to members first. Members get exclusive members only live streams. And you can even get access to my private Snapchat account where you can call me or text me anytime with car questions, YouTube questions, what camera is best to start my YouTube channel. How do I start a car YouTube channel? How do I change my oil? Whatever you guys need, hit me up on Snapchat. Just be sure to check the link in the pinned comment or in the description down below to join Boost John YouTube channel. With that said, let's get these cam gears installed. It's about time. I think we're gonna start doing a quick Boost John album of the day. And today we are doing Tana Talk 3 by Benny the Butcher. Hello, Bluetooth speaker. All right. I already cleaned these babies quite a bit. They are pretty clean, pretty OEM spec. I can get them a little bit cleaner and I will. I'm gonna just do that off camera, but I'll show, obviously I'll show you guys when I'm done. I might replace these with black ARP ones. You guys let me know what you think when we're done. Zinc or black ARP cam gear bolts? Let me know. Where she goes. Don't forget the keyways, boys. Don't forget to catch these. I think it doesn't matter which one goes where, but I'm just gonna mop them up and double check. Yeah, that'll work. No, I dropped the keyway into the timing cover. Let's go. Hey, ask Rory from Tesla. I am the magnet master. Huh? No? Oh, oh, yeah, baby. I'm gonna go ahead and put the valve cover back on. I'm so excited to see what this looks like. And again, let me know if you guys think I should switch out these OEM cam gear bolts for ARP black upgraded cam gear bolts. I totally will. If you guys think it will look better, I, I don't know, dude. I really like the zinc, so we'll see. Brand new OEM gasket going in.
right, cam gears are fully in. I'm gonna show them to you, and then Kern and I are gonna get clean and check them out. They look sick. I don't know about you guys, but this angle looks so good. I don't know if the camera does it justice, but damn. It's so dope. Looks so clean. I love it. Super happy with that improvement. We have finished upstairs. It's looking way better. It, you can't really tell that it looks any better, but I promise it is. The amount of cobwebs that I found in the ceiling, it was, it had to have been like 60 or 70 cobwebs by the end of it. I was like halfway through and I was at like 40 or 50. So that's so big because every time that Kearney and I come here and we've actually tried sleeping here twice, we slept here once and we tried sleeping here another time. The second time, we, and the first time, we were so stuffy. We just would get allergies so fast. And honestly, like every time that, not every time, but most of the time, when Kearney and I are here, and we're here for an extended period of time, we end up getting pretty stuffy by the end of it. Our sinuses are all like gross. So going through this place and like really giving it a deep clean, I think is going to be so beneficial for us. Because coming here and feeling like is not fun. It's supposed to be fun to come here. Putting in some elbow grease today, spending a little bit of time getting it nice and clean over here, so that way we can continue making progress and feel good about coming here. But, dude, can we just get one more look at those EG cam gears? Ooh. Oh. Dude, they look so good. Dude, she's walking around vacuuming the garage in her socks because she spilled oil on her shoes. Oh man, we're goofy over here at the Boost of John Boost Bunker, boys. I know it's like impossible to hear with the vacuum, but I don't want to change out the shift knob for the longest time. This is the shift knob for my EK. It's a black wrinkled powder coated ball knob. I'm gonna go ahead and swap this one on. Quick bonus mod in the video here today on the spot, Boost of John, dude. Uh, why are the threads not the same? Okay, maybe not. So apparently only one shift knob fits on the EG shifter. It's like a custom, custom fab thread pitch, which is definitely just cross-threaded from the old knob. Uh, we're gonna need a new shifter. That's coming soon, for sure. I've been wanting to get a new shifter for this car for so long. That's coming soon. Catch that in a video coming very soon. All right, guys, this is pretty much where I'm closing out today's vlog. The garage is clean for the most part the downstairs is downstairs is not there yet we have a lot more work to do on the downstairs like dusting cleaning up cobwebs cleaning the walls we'll do that another time um maybe this week we'll see but everything is organized down here for the most part still figuring out a few more like logistical things here in the garage like obviously i don't have water supply so i have jugs that i bring back and forth from the house to here with water also i got a bunch of cleaning supplies from costco got tons of like rags uh, shop towels, microfibers. I want to make like two buckets, one bucket for the white terry cloths and one bucket for the microfibers. So that when I'm done with them, I just toss them in their respective buckets and then I can bring them home and wash them and bring them back to here. I want to get a few more systems put into place for the garage here because I think that with a little bit more organization and a little bit more system, I think it's going to be really good. I think this garage is gonna to start to work really nicely, which is already working really nicely, but obviously everything could be better. And that's what we're doing here. So garage is good. Now you guys finally know why I quit Tesla and that I'm doing YouTube full time. I announced it in a previous video, but I know that you know not everyone sees every video. So I just wanna make one so you guys are all aware. Again, if you're interested in supporting, please consider checking out YouTube memberships. I appreciate it a lot. That's going to be honestly, hopefully my lifeline right now that just, gets me through winter because winter is winter is rough boys winter is rough eg looking sick with the cam gears honestly like that was the last thing in the entire engine bay that needed to change or, or or like was stock and ugly so i'll show them to you one more time let's get a close up Ooh, dude they look so mint again 
Tell me if you want me to keep these or do ARP. I will do black ARP if you think it'll look better. New shifter coming soon. That's for sure. I'm gonna add that to the parts list right now. Let's do that. Let's do that together. Parts. Shifter. Gonna have to add a task here. Shifter. Cool. All right. Now I'm hoping that maybe this weekend, um, we'll see. I was hoping that maybe this weekend we would get the car in the ground and get the fuel system figured out. So getting the 93 out of the gas tank and getting some E85 into the tank. So that way it's drivable. I need to do some more bolt checks. I, I noticed I'm missing a bolt on my exhaust manifold. That's gonna be another, another thing I'm gonna have to deal with, which isn't obviously, or screw, or nut, one nut. It's not hard, but it's just something I gotta do. And we have some pretty major issues in terms of stripped bolt holes, which I'm gonna have to just go through and fix a ton of stripped bolt holes like all in one day. Just knock them all out, it's gonna suck. But anyway, plenty of work to do and uh, I'm excited guys. This is really fun. So thank you again for being here. Thank you for watching. Please remember to click subscribe. And as I always say, let's remember to plan, commit, execute, and attain our goals. Bye.